you need to select your SSD drive or hard drive. Video for enthusiasts. Let's imagine you want to upgrade from HDD to SSD without reinstalling Windows. Moreover, you don't even have a SATA adapter, which is really important to have. Because with the help of an such an adapter, you will be able to migrate Windows from a hard drive to an SSD drive, which is really convenient. But today I will try to migrate Windows using a tiny flash drive with the 32 gigabytes of space without a SATA adapter. No jokes, I want to warn you, everything you repeat today will be at your own risk. To be honest, I had no serious problems and everything worked stably, but a warning won't hurt. Before getting started, you need to have a flash drive. It's better to have a flash drive with a large amount of space. At least be sure that it will be enough to migrate C disk, which is the system disk, and on which Windows is installed. That is, if the system on the C disk takes up 26 GB of space, you can at least use a 32 GB USB stick like mine, to migrate Windows. But if you have many files on CE and other disks, that means that you need to have more storage on your flash drive. I want to know that I will do the entire process on the virtual machine, but you can repeat this on your laptop or PC, of course, if you wish. So let's get it started. So fellas, we are in Windows 10 and also it will work on Windows 11 as well. First of all, I want to mention that you need to have at least a flash drive that has the same amount of space that your C drive, a minimum. And if you want to copy all files from E or D drive, of course your flash drive needs to have more space. Today I will create a virtual machine and it will work as a laptop or PC, nothing complicated. So I will create a new virtual machine and as as you can see, I'm using VMware Workstation. Here I will click Next. Here I will select Installer Disk Image and I will select Windows 10 ISO file. Click Next. Now I will create a folder for Windows 10, Local Disk D, Virtual Machine. I already have such a folder. Make new file. I will type Windows 10 Pro. Click OK and click Next. Now, very important moment, because I will allocate 32 gigabytes of space. My flash drive has only 32 gigabytes of storage, because I want to show you in reality how it will work. And again, if you want to copy all information, you have a lot of programs, data, you need to be sure that you have a flash drive that have the same amount of space. I will type 32, click next. After this, I will click finish and it will automatically run Windows 10. So now I need to go through installation and to make it more convenient, I will open it in full screen. In this window, I will select next United States, install now. I don't have a product key. If you have a key, you can enter it or if you have an existing Windows, you can skip this moment. I will click next, check this box and click next. Very importantly, I will select advanced Click here and as you can see, my system has 32 gigabytes of space. So what we can do now, we can install Windows on this particular partition or we can split this partition. Some of you will say that doesn't make any sense to split such a tiny space. But in my opinion, it will be a great example how to copy and save files from C and D disk if you don't have a SATA adapter. So I will click create new. I will allocate 25,000 megabytes, which is 25 gigabytes. Select apply. OK. And I will select this space for Windows, 24 gigabytes. Click next. So I'm installing Windows 10 and I think it will work, but for Windows 11, I don't think that it will be enough. Laptop will restart and we will proceed to the next stage. I will use it for personal needs. Click next. Of course, I will use an offline account. I don't like to use Microsoft account. It's my personal preference. Limited experience, user, click here and click next. I will uncheck all of these annoying options. I don't like them. Accept. 
skip not now here we are in windows 10 i will go to the file explorer click on this pc as you can see at the moment we have only c drive but actually i allocated more space for this i need to click on the manage disk management in this case i need to click here where we see a space which i allocated and change drive letter i will select add for the example e letter will be suitable click ok and voila a local disk e appears now it is necessary to form a disk and then it will work properly i will select ntfs and select start quick format will be suitable good so friends for the example we have c drive and e drive or probably you will have d h x it doesn't matter what i'm going to do is to click on e drive and i will create some files specific files for the example i will name folder andre tech double click here i will create a text document soft click on it and for the example i will type one two three four i will close this text document but i will save all the files click here some of you will ask why do i create this folder and this text document and the answer is quite simple because at the end of the video we will compare can we migrate all files using only usb stick without sata adapter and can we save all files it is very important including programs so let's move forward now we need to open a browser in my case i have microsoft edge browser if you have google chrome browser that's okay in the browser you need to type next disk genius.com and press enter simply to explain this genius is convenient and useful software it is totally free you can use it to migrate windows to create a portable usb stick and of course you can do other useful things for the example you can convert mbr to gpt gpt to mbr etc in our case i will click free download because we need to download this file on my laptop as you can see this utility is lightweight and it takes only 61 megabytes of space i successfully downloaded this genius now we can open it show in folder i can close the browser no need to use it anymore now we need to install this utility double click select yes english check this option click next again next it will take a few seconds and voila we installed this genius i will uncheck these boxes and click finish please pay attention and take your time because it is very important and necessary to install usb stick into the laptop or pc i want to remind you that at the moment i'm using virtual machine so i inserted usb stick into the laptop and of course i need to connect it to my virtual machine i will select windows 10 click ok good i succeed and as you can see usb stick has 28 gigabytes of space but literally it has 32 gigabytes but we cannot see the all amount of the space that's normal i will close this window and we can run this genius click on it select yes i will open it in full screen to make it more convenient my friends stay calm you do not need to use all of these options because we need to select this one os migration click on it now you need to select your flash drive click ok warning you that all information will be deleted from your flash drive click ok here we go as you can see we have local disk c and local disk e local disk e has 23.8 gigabytes of space and local disk e 7.6 gigabyte of space and here we have a flash drive but i want to know that you need to do one very important thing if you want to copy all of these files if you take a close look you will not find e drive here for this we need to click on manage partitions after this you need to click here add partition and you need to select e drive click on it and click ok good then in this window you need to find local disk e in my case local disk e and click ok 
and voila, it appears in our window. As you can see, it was successfully added to our flash drive and now we can click on start. But before doing this, I will show you one simple tip. If you wish, you can allocate more space for your E drive or C drive. To allocate more space for E drive, you can double click here hold the button and you can move it to left or to right. I do not recommend to allocate less space than local disk E have here. In my opinion, this is terrible idea because I recommend to allocate the same amount of space that we have here. So we will move it to the left. If you wish, we can allocate more space. For example, 8.5 gigabytes. After hold this process, you can click on start Again, we see warning that all information will be deleted from a flash drive. Click OK. Now you need to select hot migration. Now you need to wait until the process will complete and it may take some time. Of course, it will depend on your flash drive and on your system. So fellas, hard work paid off and as you can see, we created a portable Windows. Actually, we have the same operating system on our USB stick and that's for real. System migration completed. So we need to click OK. Now we can close the program. After creating a bootable USB stick, you need to safely remove your flash drive and for this you need to click here and select your USB stick. In my case, this is USB 3.2. It is my USB drive. I will click on it. After this message, you can remove your flash drive from the computer. Then I will shut down the power. Shut down. Let's talk more about the next process because it is very important and in some cases it's quite tricky because I'm going to do the old process in the virtual machine but you can do it on your laptop or PC. Let's imagine you have an HDD drive and you want to install a new SSD drive but you don't want to reinstall Windows and you don't have a SATA adapter but you have a portable operating system with your files, application, etc. What you need to do? You need to install your SSD drive, even if it doesn't have any operating system, that's good. Then you need to insert your USB stick into the laptop and then you just need to turn on your machine. You do not need to go to the BIOS because if your SSD drive doesn't have any operating system, it will boot automatically your flash drive with the operating system. In my case, with Windows 10, I will create a new virtual machine without operating system because I will use my USB stick. Create a new virtual machine. Next. This time I will select this option. I will install the operating system later. Click next. Microsoft Windows, Windows 10 64, it will be suitable for me. Click next. Identically, I will allocate only 32 gigabytes of space and I will do a quick customization, eight gigabytes of RAM and four cores. Close, finish. Again, one more time, I want to remind you, you need to insert your USB stick into the laptop after you installed a new SSD drive. So I will insert my USB stick. Good. Now I will run this virtual machine without an operating system. In my situation, to run a bootable USB stick with Windows 10, I need to click on workstation. Then I need to navigate to VM. From VN, I need to select removable devices. And finally, I found my flash drive, but I need to select connect. Okay, that's not all. Here I need to select reset. Select reset. Finally, we saw Windows 10 logo and that's mean it booting from a flash drive. From this place, I will select OK. Choose how to allocate processor resources. I will allocate it for programs and click OK. I want to mention that it will work slower if you run it from a flash drive, but that's normal because a flash drive is not so fast as SSD. So as you can see, we have a local disk C, local disk E, and if we click on local disk E, we have the same files, Android tech, and we have the same text document, soft. 
one, two, three, four. So as you can see, we save all the files and moreover, we have Disk Genius because this is utility which already is installed on Windows and we have it on a flash drive. We need to run Disk Genius. Select yes. Voila, we successfully ran this genius and now we're going to migrate an operating system to our SSD drive. But I want to warn you that this process is not recommended to do. I recommend to use a SATA adapter if you have such an opportunity. In that case, most likely everything will work stably. But if you don't have a SATA adapter, you could give it a try. So we need to click on OS migration. First of all, we need to select system partition, in my case, disk C, then click OK. You need to select your SSD drive or hard drive. In my case, I have this amount of space, 32 gigabytes, which I previously allocated. Click OK. And we need to repeat the same process. As you can see, we have C disk and E disk. And here we have only C disk, but right now I will fix this problem. Manage partitions, add partition disk E and click OK. Then I will choose disk E, click OK. Again, if you wish, you can allocate space to E or C drive, but be careful and you need to click on start. Warning, all files and partition on target disk will be overwritten, click OK. Probably you will see this message, cannot lock partition, removable disk E, continue anyway. Note, the data read from the partition may be incorrect because the operating system and other programs may write the partition at the same time since the partition is not locked. Actually, you can click yes. One more time, I'm warning you, it all depends on you. I will click yes. After all this process, you just need to wait and surprisingly, it for real take less time. Then you will see this unhappy message and they trying to say that it may boot not properly. But from my experience, I can say that everything boots well, so I will click OK. That's not all. System migration completed. To boot from target system, please reboot to BIOS. I want to note important thing that in this situation it's not necessary to select yes, you can just select no and shut down the power. I will click here on Windows icon, click on power and select shut down. Now again I will run virtual machine but you can just turn on your laptop or PC and I want to show you that this is the correct Windows version. If you take a close look, you may see that we have Win10 folder, which I previously created, and I will click power on this virtual machine. And voila, as you can see, we have again Windows 10 logo. Of course, I didn't allocate it enough space because I have only 32 gigabytes. Let's take a close look at local disk E because we have some files there. Click on it. And we have the same folder, that's a great news. Moreover, we have the same text document with the same numbers, one, two, three, four. And again, I want to warn you that everything is under your own risk. If you wish, you can give it a try. My conclusions, despite I saw an error, everything works smoothly without any problems and I didn't notice any issues or serious problem. It works as normal Windows. You can use a SATA adapter instead doing this, but if you have a flash drive and you are an enthusiast, of course, you can do this. If this video was useful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to migrate Windows using a SATA adapter.